Oh shit, I need more coffee. Listen, man, this video is all about honesty. I respect the honesty on this play from both parties involved, all right? We, first story, we all know that Offset has made it known that he is trying to get his guy back. He is pulling up on stage. He pulling up on, with gifts. He on Instagram posting videos saying, Cardi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for 2004. And I ain't gonna mess up no more this year. Then nigga like, I only got two weeks. I ain't gonna mess up no more this year. If you give me another chance. That 2019? I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. So we know that, that Offset has been trying to get his girl back. And uh, Cardi, it looks like from the video that I played to kick this bad boy off. She's like, look, I might not miss the person Offset right now. He hurt me, but uh, I like the hurt that he gives me in a good way. Because she's like, yo, I missed the D. I missed the sex game. I respect Cardi's honesty. Here's the thing with Cardi B that's, that's probably going to be like the biggest. I would say this is probably the thing you could attribute to her rise to fame. But also I would say that this is probably part of her downfall as well. Her whole life has been one social media conversation. That's how she got popping and got on like love and hip hop and shit because of her social media success. She's always giving her life up to social media. So now when she might want to turn it off, I don't even think Cardi knows how to turn it off. So she, She's vulnerable and telling you everything about her business. She's like, yo, this nigga publicly hurt me, but she's publicly saying I still miss this nigga's sex game. I respect Cardi's honesty, you know, and uh, hopefully they work it out. I'm still team offset, all right? We get that nigga another chance. Now, I respect Meek Mill's honesty even more than I respect Cardi's honesty. Fellas, y'all know we be lying out there. We are Women, y'all know y'all do it too. Every now and then, I don't care where you at in life. You could be happy. Every now and then, you got to check in. You got to check in with the old ex just to make sure that new nigga or that new chick ain't more popping than you. I'm sorry. You got to do it every now and then. I don't care if you got to go on the book or the gram. You got to go check in. And Meek Millie called himself checking in. I, re I appreciate this honesty right here. There's some real shit, bro. Meek Mill went on the gram. He said, you know, he pretty much hearing everything about Nikki's new nigga that she flung all over the gram. Salute to Nikki. Congrats on a new relationship. Now, Meek's been doing this ask Meek thing on Twitter. He's been answering fan questions to promote his album, right? So a fan asked him, how do you feel about Nikki new dude? Lame, weird, or right? LOL. And Meek actually answered this question. This is usually the one that rappers stay away from or people in the public domain. They usually don't speak on other people's relationship, but he's just being honest. He said, I don't feel nothing. And I don't know that man to judge him. I went to check him out on her page and found out I was I was black. Yo, you gotta appreciate the honesty in that. Like you gotta, you gotta respect that. I respect it on so many levels. Cause like I'm sure Meek follows like ball alert in the shade room. If she really if he really wanted to see, dude, he could have he could have just checked homie out on the page to make sure he, he ain't more popping than Meek. But he just was like, he was like, yo, no, I wanted to go to Nikki joint to see what Nikki was posting. And he found out he was blocked by Nikki when he went to her gram. I'm dying laughing. She, hey, hey, and y'all women know y'all roll for that little bag y'all get in too when y'all block the old nigga when you get with a new nigga. Cause I just seen Nikki and Meek like going, going, uh, like responding to each other on Instagram a couple months ago. I don't know. Maybe the new nigga was like, yo, Nikki, you gotta block Meek. I don't want you seeing this nigga having a good time. He in album mode, he doing press. They got all the chains out, nigga, at all the clubs. Nigga got, got a couple nice records out in rotation right now. New jewelry. You know what I mean? Maybe the new nigga was like, nah, you don't need to be seeing all that. He in album mode. Nah, you good. B block. Hey, I respect all parties involved. <laughs> I respect the honesty, yo. Yo, Meek said I went to the ground just to, to check out the new nigga, just to see if he more popping than me. The man said I found out I was blocked. Hilarious. <laughs> I respect it, Cardi B. I respect it, Meek Millie. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. Don't take it for granted. All honesty, all 2019. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.